hello this is Marche. welcome back to my page it has been a minute or at least it feels like a minute but y'all it has been a year a whole year i had to get some renovations done to my house and that was a whole process but it is done now thank goodness um and i definitely wanted to do the last kit lineup of the year that feels weird to even say this year was not trying to even be here for real so we're going to start out with my work planner if you don't know i use three planners one is for work one is for like a to-do list of stuff to do around the house and the last one is my memory planner and i am hoping to get down to two after next year so we shall see how that goes so first up we have this really cute kit from pink diamond planner co it is the pink peppermint art which came out did this come out this was either 22 or 21 um a release from darcy and it's just so cute my birthday is december 5th so this is going to be my birthday kit this year well one of them and i actually share um my birthday week with my niece this year she's going to be one so this would be cute for her as well so this is on glossy i don't know if it's still in the shop but you can go and see so love it and then here are the little, this was the freebie. And this is what really sold me on the kit. Besides, I like Christmas kits that are um, different colors. I love my traditional green and red kit, but I do think it's fun to mix it up with the colors. So pink kits are super cute. But this tall box is just so fun. So I had to get that. And then we have the strip. And that hot pink and this is just an old format of the mini kit i feel like it's been a minute since i've used a pink diamond kit probably since like may because in may i was using all the pink diamond kits <laughs> so we have our functionals yeah i think this i don't know and then the washi is pre-split for you of course love this fashion doll darcy didn't release um, her own personal Christmas kit this year or Christmas art this year her only Christmas art was in the mystery with pink diamond planner co and it was good they just posted the reveal video like last week or was it this week and it's real good so oh getting off off track with this kit have to have foil for the birthday kit I don't always use foil in my work planner but I have an old twinkle bundle in pink, like a medium pink color from Happy Sticker Designs. She no longer sells stickers. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's my computer. But she sells art. And I never remember, is it paint, painted lilac art? I never remember her um, art shop name <laughs> when I'm talking about her in videos. I need to write it down. But yeah, I'm happy that she's still around in the community. So this was just a bunch of stuff I added on to this old bundle, the scripts. And then this used to be an add-on sheet. Get your icons. And then of course, the two sheets of underlays. I miss her foil bundles. So pairing those two together for my birthday week which is the first full week of December for week two and y'all know I don't have the dates because that's rare <laughs> for week two that is the week that Wonka comes out which is like a prequel for Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory Charlie and the Chocolate Factory whatever one you want to call it the prequel to so i decided to use this hansel and gretel kit because not a lot of art was released for that movie because if i saw one that was a banger i definitely would have picked it up because i'm excited about going to see that but this sticker geek designs which is another shop that no longer sells stickers they hand drew all of their major kits like this one 
and I'd always thought this was just really cute and perfect to use at this time of the year. So we have the gingerbread people as the bottom washi, four more full boxes under there, well at the top, and then just lots of functionals. Their kits were really new, um, unique. I miss their shop, even this. That is really fun and it's cut, kiss cut. And then the um, the date covers and some deco pieces. These colors are really vibrant. So this long box goes in the sidebar and then you have some little things, some checklists and a gingerbread weekend banner. And then here's another one you could use in the sidebar. You could probably do like a monthly with this and take this piece. Really cute. So this is going to be fun to use for the Wonka movie. And then week three, I like to have at least one traditional Christmas kit. All right. So I have this chestnut kit from Letters to Apollo. It is foiled in gold. I got this kit in D-Stash at um, Galentine's of the Plan this year, which is a event hosted by Shanice from Planners and Tacos. So the D-Stash table was popping. <laughs> so I got this kit and probably like four others. And it came with the deco because we know the dainty girls love their florals for their kids and it's so cute the quote box says chestnuts roasting on an open fire jack frost whipping at your nose and then we have those labels at the bottom a sheet of boxes and some flags we have our foiled headers and just functional items, flags, checklists. These square boxes are really fun. And then lastly, this gorgeous washi. I think that's the last page, which is pre-cut for you into two pieces. And then I even love these date covers, like that font is really pretty. And some like layering pieces on the side, weekly trackers and functional headers. So this is a gorgeous kit. I'm actually thinking about making it the Christmas week kit, but we shall see because as most of us know, Christmas and New Year's Eve are on the same week this year. So it's making for some interesting lineups, that's for sure. So we'll see if that will be the Christmas kit in this planner or if this blue Christmas kit from Sprinkle to Bits will be my Christmas kit, which is what I have it assigned to right now because I just think it'll be just like a cute New Year's Eve and Christmas kit and like, you know, transitioning into like the winter kits that are going to be in January. So this would be cute. And then, like I said, I like, you know, kits that have the non-traditional colors and I don't see a lot of kits with the primary colors being blue. So this is a fun one. This is from Sprinkle to Bits. Um, by the time you see this, you probably won't be able to use my code, but usually I have a code on their site. They're still on Etsy and it's always Marche 20. So if the shop is open, use my code if you want to save some money and get my freebie. But same format that they've had for a couple years now. So we have nine foil boxes, the scallop boxes at the bottom. There is a foiled version of this kit and I think the options are hollow, which would have been perfect. And maybe gold, maybe like a light gold. So yeah, and then you get, she's doing like multiple sheets of foil boxes now. So here is the second option and the quote box says, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Really pretty. So you have plenty of boxes to choose from. You could easily like spread this across a couple weeks and use it for journaling as well. Sheet of boxes. Those scallop boxes are just always so fun. 
and then your pre-cut bottom washi i feel like i'm turning it the wrong way <laughs> and then date date covers weekly tracker and the fun clipboard that i love so much and then we have some like headers at the top functional headers and then the sheet of fun boxes and layering pieces the format is just full of all the things all the things flags checklists sidebar items just everything everything you could ever need and then you have your weekend banner glitter headers little bill do down there she always um make sure the little functional what are these, icons match the kit some large deco bits and a few scripts and then she always has deco sheets in small and large sizes that match the kits as well i just don't have them for this kit so that is sprinkled to bits that's the last kit in the work lineup i feel like i'm dragging a little bit i'm rusty okay so then week week planner two which is a happy planner for my birthday week i am using the leftovers of this december mystery from a couple years ago she reformatted this kit so if you love it go ahead and you know pick this up because this was a really really good one so i just have the remaining boxes because of course it came with two scenes and then like I used this for my birthday last year in my main planner. So really cute birthday boxes from Happy Sticker Designs and just all the leftovers. And I think I just threw in like my leftover foil. I think she gave us like a shattered hollow with this kit. A shattered hollow snowflake. I could even bring in um like a washi overlay because I kept the washi in there that was cool and you know her subscriptions which unfortunately are over with of course I had to order the very last one but her subscriptions are just jam-packed with all the boxes all the things so you can easily use those for multiple weeks so here's the leftovers of the foil bundle so cute so I'm going to be using those. Definitely got a bang for my buck with that one. And then, is this Christmas? No. Okay, week two. Sorry for the noise. Did not take everything out of their cellos. So this Grinch photo kit from BNR Paper Crafts. This is like old, 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 old. <laughs> <laughs> she just sent this to me years ago and I've just had it forever. This is on like the regular matte paper. I don't even think she uses regular matte anymore. She has like a nice thick premium matte or glossy. But yeah, this is old, but I figured, hey, let me go ahead and throw that thing in my happy planner real quick. There we go. And then week three, Aquaman comes out. And so this is another one that's old. This is a, who used to do these? Victoria Thatcher, right at the top. Victoria Thatcher, she, oh, she did the community a solid. Um, she's no longer with us. She used to do all the fandom printables for free on her website and Facebook page. So this was released when the first Aquaman came out and I used it for that and I printed two. I have no idea why. Maybe I was supposed to use it twice <laughs> that year, but saved it all these years and now it's going to be used for Aquaman too. So how perfect is that? And I just used to, y'all, I just used to cut them things up. I wasn't printing it on print, um, sticker paper or anything. Just used to print and cut them up and glue them down in my planner no shame and then for christmas week i'm going to use this sadie sticker what was this a print pression weekly kit or hobonichi i don't know what format this is 
Um, but I'm just going to use this for Christmas week. It's not the week that winter starts. That's actually the week before, but you know, we're going to be well into winter by then. So these are really cute. This is a fun little floor mat. Just you get your full boxes and functionals and then she threw in this. So I definitely got this in from somebody's D-Stash. I have no idea who because I feel like I've had it for a minute. <laughs> got that from somebody. All right, so that's the happy planner. And then lastly, we have the memory planner. So for the birthday week, it's going to be me and my niece's birthday. And I am using this Oh Bother kit from Scribble Prince Co. I love this kit so much. Like, I was so hyped when this came out. It was just so freaking good. And this is going to be so cute. And I know it's like December, but I don't care. I love this kit. So cute. So here, is this a freebie? This is, oh, fam three. I may use a little girl. And then we have our two additional boxes. This is just such a fun kit. I love it. And then the strip. I think I actually got this from D Stash from somebody because I did not buy it when it originally came out. I was like, girl, why didn't you buy that kit? You know you love it. So cute. This is perfect. I love when they give us a box that we can use uh, quote box overlays on so we don't have to like mess up the art so that is the ultimate kit old format of oh bother and then <laughs> y'all i don't know what i was going through i clearly just threw in over the year every single piece of honey bumblebee foil that i came in contact with so we have a whole bundle this is her, and it has underlays too. This is from Caress Press. And I feel like I've had this since that one mystery, the like B fashion mystery type situation. But like, y'all, just like Marcia, did you really need all this? Oh, get it together, girl, get it together. So we have this old format foil bundle from Caress Press in gold. Still cute. Y'all remember this kit. I don't know the name of it, but it was cute. Have our underlays, bottom washi. Okay, so we have that. And then we have my freebie, old freebie from Holly Lynn Co. for that full box. And then I had this <laughs> sheet of bumblebee overlays from Happy Stickers. So here's another freebie. You know your girl loves her some bees in art, not in real life. <laughs> and so we have these from Holly Lynn Co. We have these headers from Holly Lynn Co, which definitely need to be used because these are just straight bangers. And then, oh, these are so cute from Simply Beautiful Plans. And these are in gold hollow. These are headers too. All right, so then we have a little some washi. It says the flower. Doesn't dream of the bees, it blossoms and the bee comes. So we have that. And then we have this from Planner Choco. Honey drip strips. Just like, why? And we have this from Planner Choco. And underlay from Planner. The honeycomb underlays from Planner Choco, which I love. Yep, so we have two sheets of those. And then these, which I've been eyeing forever, the Barry Benson B underlays from Planet Hannah. And this is in her antique gold. So, you know, it's going to be a surprise for y'all and for me <laughs> what this spread looks like. Because I just gave myself a million options. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So that is week number one. Week number two. I don't have any plan for this actually. Oh, I think I do. I just don't have it with me. Okay, so week number two 
is this the bright kit from whimsical plans this art was done by um kittenish girl jess loved it was obsessed i was turning 30 the year that this was released and i was like that is gonna be my birthday kit the little merry christmas cake and everything so i ordered this one first and got the kit it was like this is not bright enough <laughs> like i need that thing to be bright okay like the name and so i went and ordered the one from spc which you know was given what it was supposed to give but i still love this it's just a more slightly muted color way so i said okay i'm gonna just save it for another year and that year has come so we have this in a is this mini i think this is mini and i feel like this was like my first time ordering from whimsical plans you see this yellow i just needed that yellow to just pop all the way because <laughs> that's my favorite color so this may be an old mini kit format i don't know i don't know i really like this pattern of glitter header though that's really fun and this washi is super cute all right so then i have my leftovers from scribble prints co that was just a fun week all right so the yellow just popped a, a bit more so now i just have boxes for days all right and then one more box okay so that is bright yeah so that's week two and i think i have a um like sparkly silver glitter foil bundle from alicia craft somewhere around here so let me see it's probably right here next to me actually yeah i think i'll just use this as soon as i have it and that'll be cute and then for week three I really thought this was going to be Christmas week because honestly, the art that has come out this year hasn't really been speaking to me. And this is probably the only kit that was like, yup, from this year. There's a lot of like previous Christmas art that I still haven't used because I didn't buy it that I would like absolutely go and buy a kit that was released two weeks ago, like two years ago because there were some bangers that I didn't get to use. But this is a new one from Scribble Prince Co. The Christmas Baking Kit. So cute. Full double boxes for days because you have those two, which are perfection. And then add in this one, which is also perfection. And you just get for a stressful week. That's what you do. It's stressful. Like, how are we going to use all these? But we're going to figure it out because I want to use every single one. So this is a mini kit because all I need is a mini kit. Look at those cinnamon. So cute. All I need is a mini kit and one um, label sampler. And I'm good. But look at the cinnamon rolls. This kit is just everything. Just love, love, love it. So that is everything. The little dough. And I'll be using silver and gold with this one. It's going to be a mixed foil week and i feel like if i don't really do that but this one yeah this is gold and silver so just the classic confetti bundle from spc the underlays and yeah it's going to be cute and i could see me using this kit again in the future like I definitely may have to go and buy another one and then lastly this was like a last minute decision on this kit because when i saw it in the re the new release video i was just like okay like i <laughs> did not care at all i thought the theme, the theme was unique though um the marion new kit and this kit was designed with the Christmas and New Year's Eve week 
taken into consideration. So you have those elements from both holidays and I saw somebody I don't know if I saw somebody lay it down or maybe I saw somebody haul it I was like yeah that's that really is a cute kit <laughs> I was like let me go ahead and get that so we have another mini kit I love this the food boxes I like this would just be a cute way to end the year I love these little cocktails and then you get the extra skin tones as a freebie and then I added on the label sampler and for this one I think I'm gonna just use gold but I was also thinking about rose gold like sparkly rose gold but we shall see I don't have foil for this yet because I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do but that is everything for this lineup. So if you would like to see the spreads, stay tuned. They will all be posted on my Instagram, which is at honeybeeplans. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.